Yeah, he earned his money today, and Dan Otero is standing by downstairs. And Dan, 41 pitches, not an easy one in the group, but uh, uh, what were your thoughts in the in the last inning? Because it just seemed like one of those games where it was going to go right down to the end, and it was going to be a tough game to win, but you were the main guy. Uh, well, Jesse did great to get us through seven, and then, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a hiccup there in the ninth. But I tried to come in and get a double play in the ninth to get out of it, to be honest with you. I didn't want to get past the ninth. <laughs> and then that last inning, I was just trying to play the outs game. You know, any way we could, just get outs. And we had a three-run lead, so I really didn't want to load the bases there. But I also didn't want to give Mauer anything really good to hit. Well, that's a good point. And your manager came out. And, of course, you being a sinker ball pitcher, the one thing I'm sure Bob Melvin's thinking, he doesn't want a three-run home run, he leaves you in. What did he actually talk to you about, about the pitches, just situation? What was the conversation? Well, he actually came out after I walked Mauer right, right. Uh, to make sure I was still good to go. And I was... I wasn't coming out of that game, so <laughs> luckily uh, Plouf hit it right to Donaldson. We had a good scouting yeah. report there, but, uh, you know, I tried to make good pitches to Maurer, and he laid off some really good pitches, right. and, uh, you know, I wasn't going to let him beat me. So statistically, what, did you get a blown save yep. today? You got uh, you had a win. <laughs> we may just give you a save. Yeah, we may just yeah. give you everything. A hero. Yeah. You certainly earned it today, but uh, kind of a crazy game, though. It had a strange field, nothing going on in the middle, and then it got very crazy at the end, but uh, one that's it, it probably drains you a little bit as well. Uh, it does a little bit, but it's also nice having the W at the end right. of the day. So uh, if it's a loss, then it drains you a lot more. So, uh, yeah, we got off to a quick start and uh, tried to hold on there through the ninth. And uh, luckily, Dino came up with a big hit in the 11th. I think the, I think it was the 11th. Yeah. So in the end, it's a win, and that's all that counts. Now, people will say, and I've had people say to me, why is it difficult to throw strikes? Why can't a pitcher just throw a strike? Now, you had three and two to Plouffe. Bases loaded. You throw a ball. Game's over. What were you thinking? How difficult is it to throw a strike when you have to in the case of the ninth inning? You, you can't think about it. When Good. you think about it, you'll throw a ball. Uh, I knew I was just going to throw it right down the middle, let right. it sink, and he hit it in the ground. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things that the hitters are good. They lay off, they lay off yeah. good pitches that are just on the corner. Uh, so you just got to keep battling and, <laughs> and make, sure, make sure it moves in the zone. You know, Dan, in the 10th inning, uh, Donaldson strikes out. There's some stuff going on. But really, if you think about it, the good news for you, you did not have to make that run in right. for the the the, the fight, fight yeah. no. from the bullpen. You were already in the dugout. I, I, I had a short jog out to the mouth. I just made sure I was the last one out. You know, just stay on the outskirts of the scuffle. Yeah. Did you hear anything that went on, or what? Maybe some of the talk in the dugout. I mean, what do you think well, happened I, there? I have no idea. I'm sure there are some words shared between those two guys that are not suitable for television. And <laughs> knowing Donaldson, he probably said something, and uh, he's a fiery guy, yeah. and their guy's a fiery sure. guy. So it's it, it happened. It was harmless. Dan, you know, one of the things about Kurt Young, your pitching coach, your manager, Bob Melvin, they established roles for you guys in the bullpen. Now, with this game, the way it was going with Chavez for seven innings, the bullpen at the point, at what point do you think that you might get in the game, or was it one of those that looks like it's going to be a game in which you're not going to? I uh, I don't believe in the whole roles thing, at least okay. thinking about it. You know, I, That's good. I just, whenever the phone rings, I anticipate it's my name. And then if it's not my name, I can relax. That's good. So I try not to get too relaxed down there because when you do, usually you get in the game and not do well. Yeah. So you just got to stay ready the whole time. And uh, and I was ready to go from inning, oh, maybe not inning one, but definitely <laughs> about middle of the game on. That's great. Well, you did well today. Congratulations yeah. on to getting the W. And uh, you know what? Maybe take the day off tomorrow. Yeah. No, no, I'll be ready to go. All right. <laughs> nice job. So Dan O'Toole.